Pandora's Promise is, I think, a very important, impactful film that should be seen by as wide an audience as possible. Well, what I love perhaps the most about the movie is it starts right off with Fukushima Daiichi. It goes right to people's fears, which is the most important thing. You've got to recognize that the concerns people have are real. Some are based in fact, some are not. But you need to address them because they're real in people's minds. And what I took away from that is that you can, that they're good answers, which I've always believed, but it was nice to see, and particularly with the five people that are highlighted. These are thoughtful people. These are people who have spent a, they'd spent a long time involved in the environmental movement. And as someone who cares deeply about the environment, as I do, I understand what their perspectives were. And because of that, they forced themselves to take another look, something that they'd been raised to think was just terrible across the board, you didn't want anything to do with it. They forced themselves to take another look as responsible leaders and opinion makers. And they did, and what they saw told them they may have been wrong. This isn't about nuclear energy or renewable energy, you know, wind or solar. It, it's not an either or type of thing. It's what role does nuclear play as part of an overall mix, as a base power, recognizing it's the only form of base power that releases no uh, greenhouse gases or other regulated air pollutants while it's producing power, that it has a history of being safe, and that it is our green base power. And we're always going to need some base power. And that's another thing that the movie conveys, I think, quite strongly, that we can do more and better with wind and solar, but they're always going to need base power, backup. They're always going to need backup for those times when the wind doesn't blow or the sun doesn't shine, and that's where nuclear has a role. The purpose is to show people that it's okay to open their minds a little bit and look at facts and think things through, that some of the things that you may have grown up with, um, some of the lessons people took away from things like Three Mile Island just are not the whole picture. These were people, the five who were featured, who were very passionate in their opposition to nuclear. And at that point in time, thought they'd really studied the issue fully and understood. And they've come to see that they, they needed to think beyond uh, the easy answers that they'd been given in the beginning. And that's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for a lot of people. And hopefully it will get others to, to be willing to, in, to open themselves to that discussion.